And how did you find your life purpose? Can you tell us a story and the exact steps you took? Thanks for cutting the answers in single clips after the stream. So that's my uh, editor, Mel. Thank you, Mel, for cutting all these clips for us. How I found my purpose, I think, is different than what uh, I would recommend. I kind of stumbled onto it. I didn't have a, a, a guide, I didn't have a source, I didn't have a book, I didn't have anything to follow, so I just kind of figured it out. But the real answer is I was, uh, I did my first speaking gig at the YMCA in Toronto, and it was a free thing that they promoted heavily to go, and I uh, was super excited. It was about two weeks away from the event, and I was preparing, and they had this they had this group of entrepreneurs who they wanted me to talk to. And I spent a couple of weeks preparing what I was going to say and making it perfect. And then I got there and only three people showed up. And I was super sad and felt like I wasted my time and felt like this is just, just a big waste that I was so nervous and so prepared for everything. And I you know, spent my evening to go there and only three people showed up. But I didn't want to disappoint them, so I did it anyway. And um, I ended up loving it. I really loved it. And then we went to the Starbucks down the street afterwards and hung out some more. And I wish I could remember who who the three people are and see what the, what they're doing. That'd be pretty cool if, if I touch base however many years later. How many years ago was that? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. 20, when I was 20, 23, 22, 23. I sold my business when I was, when I was 22. So yeah, 23. Something like that. Um, I'm 40 now, so it'd be interesting to see how much or what they've done since. But I liked it so much that I was reminded of a line that Oprah Winfrey said after she did her first talk show. She felt like it was it was like breathing, that she just had to find a way to keep doing it. And that's what it felt like for me, that it just felt like it was so... Uh, not natural, because it was my first time doing that kind of thing, so I wasn't natural, but it was fun. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, and I just, I knew I wanted to do it again. It just filled up my soul. But I didn't know how. Um, I never thought it would turn into a business because if nobody shows up for a free thing, how are you ever going to get paid? Right? So that was the starting point. And I, I just knew I had to keep finding a way to do it. And I did. Uh, and slowly I, I did more and more and more. And I couldn't articulate believe for sure. I couldn't articulate what I wanted to do. But I just knew I needed to find a way to keep doing that thing of helping entrepreneurs. Uh, I, I would have never predicted to be doing League of Legends streaming, answering questions, or making YouTube channels. You know, that didn't even exist back then. Uh, I just needed, I knew I needed to just keep going on helping entrepreneurs. So when you find something that you love doing, that feels like breathing, that you can get lost in, and feels like you can do it forever, that's a good sign. That's the start. If I'm looking at it now, if you're trying to find your purpose now, pick up Built to Serve. That's why I wrote it. It, it shortcuts your path to doing all that stuff. Um, I wish I had it when I was 22 and trying to figure out my next step.